Let's continue Yakuza 5 if you're watching Slayer on YouTube, thanks for clicking. Hope you've been enjoying so far. Okay, gotta load this whole thing. Okay, there's some side quests on the board, so I'm gonna do them first. Before we get into the main story. Wait, what? Oh, come on. Already? Can I throw them in the river? I want to throw one in the river. Throw one in the river! Yes! <laughs> I'm gonna throw. All of these dudes are going in the river. Little shits. Okay, that one I didn't get in the river. You're going in the river! Hey, get up. Hey, Star, thanks for the raid. You're up late. Jeez. Or up early? Question mark? Yeah, you better. You better beg for forgiveness. There you are, Kazuma Kiryu. I found you at last. Or is it Taichi Suzuki you're calling yourself now? Who are you? I am Ren Higashino. I'm in the qualifiers for the victory road. Oh, right, this thing. They did mention it. The Street Fighters. I see, so you're the one spreading rumors about yeah. me. I didn't mean to blow your cover, but it's a bit late for apologies now, I guess. I never expected to find you in a town like this. I saw you fighting Kamurocho once. The power you displayed motivated me to up my game. Now you owe me a chance to test my metal. <laughs> I don't see why I owe you anything. You made me into what I am today, Kazuma Kiryu. What if I said you've got the wrong guy? Huh? There are plenty of others like me out there, you know? You think you can all run from us? Or you can run from all of us? Yeah. I can't read. Don't tell me you're not who I think you are. I know how to find out. I can't let you run without giving me a shot. I don't care if you're game or not. You lit a fire in me and now it's time to stoke it. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's fine. He doesn't got that much help. I'm gonna throw him into the river. Oh, damn, no. Okay, I couldn't break out of that one. Oh, whatever attack he's got. That's annoying. Weapon, 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 weapon. No weapons. Crap. Come here! Jeez. I, I can't believe he's gonna get up from that. Man, you sure live up to your reputation. Excellent performance, Suzuki-san. Shall we assume this means you're willing to take part in the Victory Road competition? I think I gave that guy an Australian voice. I can't remember. Hmm. Don't turn the off down the offer, Kiri-san. I can still get stronger. I know it. I'll train up more and take you on again. Come on. Give us a goal to aspire to. This isn't just for me. It's what all of the guys inspired by your strength want. 
Ah. Uh. You like a good challenge yourself, don't you? I know you do. I could feel it in your fists. A frenzied fight really gets your blood pumping. <laughs> Fine, you win. Then you're on board? Ooh. Yeah. But keep things on the down low in the future. My livelihood is at stake here. I wish you good luck with your battles, Kiri-san. We're looking forward to seeing you in the Victory Ride Finals. Okay. Again, you know, he started a whole new identity and... He just didn't do the bare minimum. Kept his hair the same. Didn't grow facial hair. Just did nothing to conceal his face. And he's like, wow, how are people recognizing me? This is crazy. It's almost like doing nothing to hide your appearance. It's not gonna help. <laughs> Get away. What? Okay, that dude went through a car. That's fine. Oh no. No. Nope. Ah. Oh, it's a qualifier, dude. Alright, now I have to fight him. I love this attack so much. Oh, what? He survived? Places to be. Okay, so that dude panting. What was what is he doing? Huh. I don't believe it. Is that you, Kiryu-san? Another guy that recognizes him. You know me? Of course I do. It's me. Noboru Kudara... Kuda Rizaka. I... Uh, slow it down. You remember, right? I asked you to stand in for me when I was shooting that period piece. Long time no see. That does sound familiar. Man, I didn't expect to run into you here. I guess the stars align for me. Why do you say that? I think this was the guy that got us to write an article on all the clubs. I'm working on a new project, but I hurt myself just as shooting was about to start again. The thought of bringing this up to the director has had me biting my nails this entire time. I'll have to get another two hour manicure. Anyway, you've already done this before, so I need your help. Can you stand in for me again? So I'm gonna- oh no, this is the movie one. So I'm gonna be in another movie? No, oh, the hell yeah. Okay, I'll do it. Great! Thanks a bunch. So, what's the role this time? Oh, it's the perfect role for you, Kiri-san. It's a Yakuza action movie. All you have to do is rough some people up, and I use the term people loosely. Well... I guess I could pull off an action roll. Awesome. Then, I'll take you to the set right away. What the hell? <laughs> Is that a vampire? Hey there. How's it going? Howdy, hey, Kiryu-chan. It's been a while. Too bad the only reason we're meeting is... 
Because Kudachan here keeps breaking himself on everything he touches. I'm really sorry. I, I don't know what I would have done if I hadn't run into you. You're doing us a serious favor. Not to mention, Kiru-chan, you're perfect for this role. It's almost like it was meant to be. Here's the script. All you have to do is memorize the parts for the lead role, Tatsu. I think this is re I think this was the movie where it was an adult movie. And there was that dude called Poison. <laughs> if I I don't know if it was that movie or the one with like the fake Michael Jackson actor. I can't remember. It's been a while. I'm here to end this, brother. Okay, you think you can kill me. Sorry, but that'll never happen. I cannot be killed for you see. You're a vampire, right? Brother, and you're a vampire. So you knew, haha, <laughs> indeed. All those are about to come the living dead. Four zombies appear behind Tatsu. Soon enough, you'll join them, Tatsu of Kamuru. Tatsu defeats the zombies one at a time. Oh, f uh, <laughs> I need to write this down. Okay, um, I'm putting it in chat because I'm lazy. So what, it's like... Swept back... Hat, yellow, jacket, and then glasses. Okay. Okay, then it's like as expected. Let's see how mortal you really are. Countless zombies appear. Raging special techniques, you fight them off one by one. Okay. Tatsu ready a katana. Hazy Moon. It's a fake one. Oh, this is really intricate. Demon Blade Special Technique. I'll remember that. The boss will be waiting for you in hell. Okay, let's try our best. I thought this was supposed to be a Yakuza movie. Are you all good? I got it down. All right. All right, I got it down. Remember, you don't have to say the lines word for word. Just make them snappy and relevant. Also, do your best with the action sequences. Ideally, we would like you to follow the script, but you'll get paid either way. All right. Let's get this thing rolling, then. Ready? Action. So you finally made it, Tatsu of Kamura. Oh. I'm here for a happy ending, brother. <laughs> uh, I'm here to end this, brother. I'm here to end this, brother. So you think you can kill me? Sorry, but that'll never happen. I cannot be killed for you, see? You're an umpire, right? <laughs> You're a campfire. You're an umpire. You're a vampire, right? So you knew. Ha ha ha, indeed. And all those I bite become the living dead. Soon enough you'll join them, Tatsu of Kamura. Um, swept back. Okay, hold on, which one? Hang on, yellow jacket. Hold on. I guess this is the one. Okay, then... The hat? <laughs> I mean... I probably shouldn't use my specials on, on them. Okay, and then you. You know what? Fuck it. <laughs> oh, man. Interesting. You're just as strong as ever, Tatsu. 
You're the man I acknowledge as my brother, after all. Living hell. I'm gonna show you living hell, immortal. Not so fast, I still have a few cards up my sleeve. Goodbye, my brother. You might have lived if you hadn't been so eager to unmask me. And this is like the special move. I assume it means this. But now you have to deal with me. What will you do? I cannot be killed. Struggle all you want, but you'll never destroy me. That blade. Is that the hazy moon? It can't be. How did you get a hold of it? The honeymoon the boss went on was fake. <laughs> the hazy moon you stole from the boss was fake. What? So you switched them. Haha, <laughs> I see now. It seems the tables have turned. But I shall enjoy this. For the first time, it will be a fight for my life. I wonder if I get like a free level up because using sword. <laughs> Calm down, man. It's that's just a movie. Alright, I mean, I got a free weapon skill improvement, so it was worth doing this. <laughs> Am I dying? Me? A vampire with eternal life? The boss is dating four girls in hell. The boss is waiting for you in hell. Ah, gah, that's a Kamura, not bad for a human. You could have been an even bigger villain than I. Okay, cat. Thanks, Kirisan, that was everything we needed. Was I okay? You are amazing, Kirisan. I love that stuff you ad lib there, too. That's just the kind of spice I was looking for. Really? The words just seemed to tumble out of my mouth. Then you've got the tumblings of a genius. Even I couldn't pull off that level of awesome. And those action scenes were the icing on the cake. We got some unforgettable shots that will make people jump out of their seats. Filming went really smoothly thanks to you, so I beefed up your pay quite a bit. So thanks for all the help. Oh damn, yeah, hell yeah. Good working with you again. I just doubled my money. <laughs> and... Okay, what to next? The problem is I- oh, it's, I can't tell when it's a victory ride qualifier, dude. Oh, 
Say that's what should happen. Ah, I can't believe there's such a strong contender in a local qualifier. Hey, you better watch yourself. I hear Valerie Garrett's here in town. Valerie Garrett? Oh. He's a regular at the Underground Coliseum over in Tokyo. Made a pretty big name for himself over there. He's racked up win after win after he entered Victory Road. And they say he's not even trying. Even so, no one's been able to touch him, but someone like you might have a chance. So, Valerie Garrett's in town. We've slugged it out at the Underground Coliseum in Purgatory before. Uh, if it was outside of the context of the main quest of that game, then no, I have not fought. Ah, oh, knock it off. I just fought someone. I guess the positive is, like, my health is pretty well leveled, so... Later on, when I do the fights that are going to be a struggle, it'll be okay. Nice. Oh, it didn't even finish him off. Oh man, that move is so brutal. Oh hell no. I don't want enemies to attack me more. That goes to storage. Hey, you, it's Cousin Makiru. Who are you? Oh, that's heartless. Don't you remember? It's me, Valerie Gall Garrett. Oh, haven't seen you since you beat me at the Coliseum in Kamurocho. I heard you were in town, Valerie. What's the trouble here? We're victory right contenders. This fucker was acting the fool when we he went up against my friend. Hey, if I don't hold back a little, he'd never get up again. I was just looking out for the guy. How can you call that acting the fool? We know what we're getting ourselves into. You think we're a bunch of pansies? There's no... There's just no talk... I can't read. There's just no talking sense into amateurs like you, cuz... Oh, uh, like you. Kazuma Kiri, can you do something about these guys? Yeah, sure. Ooh. Just show them what you can really do. Huh? What do you mean? Fight someone you don't have to hold back against, then you can really let loose. So you're saying you'll take me on? You versus Gal v Valerie Garrett? Haha, <laughs> 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 I like it. Good idea, Kazuma Kiryu. Think you'll need to pull punches with yeah. me? Oh, no need to worry about that. I don't have any plans of going easy. <laughs> Good. I won't be holding anything back either. Nor would I want you to. Here goes. Oh, and the other guys just vanished. Okay. Oh, is this dude American? He's got like the fake American voice. You know what? This kind of rings a bell. The voice. Jeez, I couldn't get out of that one. There we go. Why was there a dude humping a random woman on the street when I was talking to Valerie? What? <laughs> what do you mean? What? <laughs> I didn't see that. Oh, 
the what? <laughs> I'm gonna have to watch the footage. I, no, I didn't see. I was busy looking at the conversation. Do we have a little? That's a little, a little health boost. What? <laughs> I'm gonna have to watch the footage later. I'll oh, stop it! They all just block. Watch when the camera is on me while talking in the background, there's a dude pumping someone. I wonder if it'll reappear. <sighs> That's how it's done, Kazuma Kiryu. Holy shit. These guys are both fucking monsters. We don't stand a chance. Guess I still haven't caught up to you yet. Every time I gain some ground, you go and get even stronger. But I'm still coming for you and. One of these days, I'll end up on top. Maybe you could even team up, huh? That could be a blast. Until next time, then. An excellent fight, Kiryu-san. Who are you? I am a tournament staff member. With this win, you have now passed the qualifiers. There is nobody else in this town who could beat you. We'll be in touch about competing in the Victory Road Finals. They'll be held at a place where all the strongest end up. You're already familiar with the Underground Coliseum, I believe. Go there once all the finalists have been decided. And if I refuse to take part? Oh, don't worry. Fate has a way of drawing the most powerful fighters together there. I must be going, for now. I look forward to seeing what you can do, Kiryu-san. Okay. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> what is going on here? Oh my god. What what are you doing? Hey, hey, hey. Why are you pulling out your phone? What are you doing? <laughs> What the fuck is this? <laughs> what? That, I, I pull out my phone, I don't help them? I was not ready for this. お客さん。あ、ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがと
essence of dual slamming. Well, I'll piss off. <laughs> Where's the car? Where's the nearest car? This dude's going into the car. Come here. I need an 8 because otherwise I don't want to use a heal item. Yeah, when, when you said there was someone humping someone in the background, I thought, like, maybe oh, it, it kind of looked that way, but it wasn't what it was. But it was exactly what it was. didn't see that in the background. <laughs> I was just listening to the man talk about fighting. I wasn't paying attention to what was happening behind. Yeah, you regret this decision, don't you? There was some snap right there. Yeah. Fight him against the car. Ah, oh, he's probably gonna get knocked out before. Yeah. Shit on the pavement. Oh, this isn't a restaurant. This is just where I buy gifts. Oh, this is the place where I bought gifts. You can buy food gifts, but you can't eat here like a restaurant. Okay, well. Oh. So this is La Cien. I can't just barge in there. I should hit up an adult entertainment info booth first. Huh. Huh? You got a problem? Quit staring at me. He's pretty drunk. What the hell do you look you got? You're talking to the great old Dev Morisawa, aren't you? Still want to pick a fight with me? You named yourself after an appetizer? You're goddamn right, and I'm not putting up with any lip from a little shit like you. 
Okay, that crap. You only see free food samples. <laughs> that just reminds you of you saying that, like, even if you don't like the food, just still take the food sample. He went into the window. I have never been defeated by an amateur before. You shouldn't be brawling when you're that drunk. Did that sober you up? Uh, yeah, a little. Uh, I guess I was a bit out of control. It's been a while since the last time I had a drink. You should stay away from the booze for today. Head home and get some rest. Hey, hold on a sec. What's your name? It's Suzuki. Suzuki, son, huh? I'm a wrestler. The name's Ordeves. Ordev Morisawa. Heard of me? No, I'm afraid not. You still wrestling at your age? Sort of. Uh, uh, I'm over 60 now. And I was still rumbling in the ring 10 years ago. Now I'm looking for a place to lay my career to rest. You mean you're retiring? That's right, you may not have heard of me, but back in my day, the name Ordev Morisawa was known. By wrestling fans all over. <laughs> I did everything I could thrill the crowd. Blood spilling performances with deadly weapons, death matches in electrified cages. When my popularity died down, I did a few farewell matches, but I always made a comeback. It all it was all just to keep my name out there. Interesting. I never really thought about the performance aspect of wrestling before. Man looking fine for 60. Yeah, that does not look like a 60 year old man. But Kiryu at this point is like, I think he's almost 45. Like, Kiryu's getting up there in his age. But after starting side businesses without my permission from League and doing all those farewell matches, I lost support of my fans. Once your popularity starts to slide, there's nothing you can do. I ended up getting myself in all sorts of trouble. I couldn't control myself back then. I had my fair share of brushes with the law, too. Then, after my seventh comeback, the wrestling league I belonged to finally dropped me. I completely deserved it, of course. I didn't get along well with any of the other wrestlers, so there was nobody left on my side. There I was, kicked out of wrestling with nothing but a bunch of failed side ventures and a ton of debt to my name. It's been a decade since I last... Oh my god, tell me your life story more. It's been a decade since I last stepped into the ring. The years have caught up with me and my strength is failing. I've been thinking of putting an end to my wrestling career once and for all. And I want to do it right. How so? I want to lay the name order of Morisawa to rest with one proper farewell match. So I can say my goodbyes to the ring and the crowd. This time it won't just be a performance. I want my final bout to be fitting, a fitting end to my life as a wrestler. This farewell was supposed to take place today. What happened? My opponent refused to take up the challenge. He said he couldn't fight me. He's another wrestler from my old league. The only guy I could remotely call a friend. He agreed to be my opponent for this final match. But when the league got wind of what was happening, they put a stop to it. What? <laughs> Can you believe it? They still haven't forgiven me, ten years after they kicked me out. So you decided to drown your troubles in alcohol then? Ah, my first sip in ten years, but it tasted horrible. All I need now is someone to fight, and I think you'd be able to pull it off, Suzuki-san. Huh? Please. I know it's ridiculous to pick a fight with you and then ask you a favor like this, but I really need you to take me on in the ring. You're no ordinary brawler, that's for sure. You've got what it takes to face off with a wrestler like me. It's just a little venue out in the open air, but I poured every last bit of money I had into this final match. This is my last chance. I have nothing else to live for. I'm begging you, let me wrestle one last time in front of a crowd. Sorry, it's just... Wouldn't it be smart to show my face somewhere conspicuous like that? Wait, well, you don't need to make the decision right now. There's still some time left. If you decide to take up the challenge, come to Ose Bridge. I've got a special ring set up there. I'll be waiting for you. If you don't come, the match is off. They won't give me any money back. And I'll lose my trust on my last few fans. 
I'd like to help out, but I need a way to conceal my face. Otherwise, stepping into the ring would be a huge risk. Maybe there's something I could use back at my apartment. Gee, Kiryu, that's a smart idea. You want to conceal your face because someone might recognize you. What a brilliant plan. It's a good thing you changed your appearance when you were trying to get a new identity in this town. Oh wait, you didn't. You kept everything exactly the same. <laughs> just, it's so dumb. Yeah, he was just in a- we just did a side quest where he's gonna be in a movie, like... I mean, look. The dude's been on the streets since he was a kid. He's street smart. Huh? Oh, it's you, Suzuki-san. Done for the day, Muromatsu-san? Yeah. Nah, not quite. Uh, anyway, there's something I can help you with? Not exactly, no. I just saw you there and thought I'd say hello. Mm -hmm. You sure? No ulterior motive whatsoever, huh? You're a lot friendlier than I gave you credit for. Okay, the car's just vanished. Uh, like I, like I said, I was just passing by and... You gotta be kidding me. Is that you, Kiryu-san? Man, you're the last guy I expected to run into out here. Not good. Sure has been a while since you swung by the club. You remember your old pal Yuya, right? From Stardust? How could I forget? He manages the number one host club in Kamurocho. So what's he doing out here? Hmm? You know this guy Suzuki-san? And what's this whole Kiryu-san business? Huh? Oh. Who's Suzuki-san? Of course Yuya wouldn't know I'm hiding my identity. I'll pretend I didn't see him. I'll have to keep up the facade. You must have the wrong guy. My name is Suzuki. How could I be wrong, Kiryu-san? I'd know you from a mile away. It must be a chance resemblance. They say there are always three others who look exactly like you somewhere in the world. Come on, Kiryu-san, stop messing around. You're not just pulling my leg. Sorry to interrupt, but who are you? Oh, the name's Yuya. I work as a host in Tokyo. Me and Kiryu-san here go way back. Anyway, I thought you were still in Okinawa, so it's strange running into you here. Small world, huh? What's all this about, Suzuki-san? This Yuya fellow seems to think he knows you. Of course I do. Tell him, Kiryu-san. I have to find a way out of this mess. What's my best move? <laughs> Keep playing dumb, scare him off. You were in a call earlier. Oh, that's all good stuff. Uh, uh, yeah, that's going all right. I fell asleep earlier. And then woke up and started streaming. <laughs> You're up pretty late. Yeah, this is, this, this is the thing about this plot is like, okay, we haven't found out why he had to change his identity and move to a new town. But dude, do the bare fucking minimum. Grow some facial hair. Like, what are you doing? This is this has happened at least six times now. Today. <laughs> Do I really look that much like this curious on guy to you? Look like, come on, I know it's you. Also, you you get the fucking hint like we were involved in some shady shit. Like, you should know. Take the hint. No, you must have made some mistake. I've never heard of this mystery man you're talking about. I don't get it. Why are you trying so hard to avoid me? Damn it. What do I do now? Hey, Suzuki-san, you don't think this guy's trying to scam you, do you? Huh? Mm -hmm. I just find it strange how insistent he's being, even though you keep telling him he's got the wrong guy. You gotta be kidding me. I would never do anything like that. Yeah. I think you might be right, Muromatsu-san. You serious? Look, you yo, whatever your name is, if you keep harassing us, we're gonna have to call the police. You want that? Maybe I really do have the wrong guy. Sorry, you yo. Okay then, I guess I'd better leave. I'm glad you've come to your senses. That's really all I wanted. Sorry we had to get a bit forceful with you.
And it seems like he wasn't one of those crooks after all. I feel a little bit sorry for him right now. Yeah, me too. Well, I should probably get going. There's always more work to do. Right. See you then. I feel bad about doing that to you, yeah. But at least Muromatsu-san seems to have bought the act. All Superman had to do was wear glasses. Kiryu-san. Yuya. It is you, isn't it? There's no way I wouldn't recognize a friend. I think I get what's happening. You were trying to hide your true identity from that Muromatsu guy you were with, weren't you? <laughs> I wish you would have gotten the message a little quicker. Anyway, let's go somewhere else. Yuya is the kind of dude that would turn around and look and stare at a person when you say don't look. I mean, Yuya was cut. To be fair, he is to his character. Like, he didn't pick up on certain things in the previous games that quickly. He was betrayed a couple times when it was kind of obvious. Gotcha, so you're hiding your past. It doesn't hurt Haruka-chan's chance of becoming an idol? Yeah. Having me around would only cause her trouble. This was the only option. Did you really need to take a new name, though? But man, I had no idea what was going on. Sorry for running my mouth and almost blowing your cover. No need to apologize. I didn't expect to run into anyone I knew in Fukuoka. Yeah, talk about a coincidence. What brings you out here anyway? Oh, uh, I just came out here for vacation. Thought it'd be nice to get out of Kamurocho for a change. Okay, but what about the club? Kazuki put you in charge, so I hope there's someone capable of filling your shoes while you're gone. Don't worry, Stardust is still standing. Besides, it's not like it'd fall apart if I just up and left. Yuya. Are you really here just on vacation? Huh? What kind of question is that? I'm asking if there's any other reason you're down here. You're kind of acting evasive. You can tell me the truth. I, I can't promise I can do anything about it, but I can at least listen. Alright, but this is between you and me, okay? Sure, I understand. Actually, Kirisan, I'm thinking of quitting the host business. Is he serious? Stardust practically runs itself these days. We have no shortage of rising stars on staff, and everything's going smoother than ever. And the guys I once thought of as newbies are now fully able to handle things on their own, so they hardly ever need my advice. As the years move on, I've started to get the feeling that I've lost my way. Kind of like something's missing in my life. It was never really like that before. I was always really driven to make Stardust a big success. But now I don't have the same passion. I can tell it's all downhill from here. You ya. Yeah. So I thought I should put some distance between me and Stardust. That seemed like the only way to find the fire that I used to have. I see, and that's what brought you here, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's the thing, right? Going on a trip to do some soul searching, that's pretty much what this is for me. What about Kazuki? Didn't he leave Stardust in your hands? I haven't told Kazuki anything. Not yet, anyway. It's hard enough admitting how I feel to myself, let alone the guy who gave me his business. In any case, I'm useless to him the way I am now. If I had to go back like this, I'd be better off quitting. Would you really go that far? I can't go on like this, can I? Getting away from Kamurocho was all I could do to try and fix things. But I still don't know what to do with myself. Well, you know, ever since that last scene, Cat, I've just been looking for stupid shit happening in the background. I'm not saying I'm looking for people humping in the background, but that being said... Uh, that said, running into you here was has given me an idea. What do you mean? I could start over in a new town and become someone else, like what you did here. What? I want to make a fresh start too. It'll be like the old days when I still had the drive to make things happen. I think that'll help me get myself together. And how do you plan to make a fresh start? First, I'll find a job. 
Doesn't matter what it is. Actually, I should probably find the kind of job nobody else wants to do. A job that forces you to work like crazy to get things done. So you won't be going back to Stardust? I don't think so, no. I see. Kazuki won't be happy with me, but I don't think there's anything I can say to change your mind. Thanks, Kiri-san. I knew you'd get me. Well, I'd better head off. I got some serious job hunting to do. Oh, and the udon was great. Are we just gonna run into him? <laughs> gonna be doing these random ass jobs. I hope Yuya finds his motivation again. Okay, wow. Well. Uh. I would imagine that new one that's popped up is him finding a job, so let's just head there. Yeah, that's the closest one. I swear if we see him and he's changed his hairstyle, it's like that the dude's smarter than Kiryu. Sorry about the other day, I looked all over for work and ended up getting a gig as a live in live in waiter or live in waiter? Live in waiter at a hostess club. The place is called Lassane. I'm going to try starting over in this town too. But he's doing. You started working at a cabaret club. Maybe we'll go see him sometime. Nope. Not right now. Ah! Come on. Come here, 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 come here. Oh, I can't go that way. Damn it, there's no cars. I want to use the move. Alright, fine. <laughs> oh my god. Can you hear the snap? Yeah, what? What now? Uh, I guess I have to use an item to heal. Yeah, that was like a minimal one. I can't even walk up the street without being harassed. Oh. No, 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 no. Leave me alone! <laughs> I don't know, man. You would think word would get around just to not mess with the dude in the jacket. There's a car here. Let's go. Over here, guys. I promise nothing bad will happen if you approach this car. Ah, oh, didn't do it. I want to use... I, I, <laughs> hang on. I probably won't be able to do it with this one. Damn it, it's doing the other moves. Uh, at this point, I'm not going to get the energy to do it. Ah, oh, dick. Oh, this is getting the, uh, the mask, so then I can do the wrestling thing. Uh, 
Huh? What's this? A dragon mask? I remember now. I wore this to show Taichi a wrestling match. <laughs> I forgot I'd brought this with me all the way from Nagasu. Or to Nagasu. If I wore this in the ring, I could wrestle and nobody would know who I was. Orders Murasawa is waiting for me at Osei Bridge. Yes. I can't miss his farewell match. Oh wow, it's a legit ring. So this is the ring at Osei Bridge, huh? Suzuki-san, you made it. I take it you gotta step in the ring with me then. Yeah, that's what I'm here for. Let's do this. Great. Thank you. Now I can go out in style. Uh, it should be a fitting finale to my pro wrestling career. I appreciate it, Suzuki-san. Again, this guy is 60. Like, what the hell? <laughs> Just remember, don't hold anything back. I'm sure you feel the same, right? That goes without saying. Don't worry. Okay, you better get changed then. Let's get started. Kiri's in his mid 40s now, and this guy's in his 60s. Kiri, you might be overdoing it a little. <laughs> it's over in five seconds. Uh, thanks to you, I had the best farewell match I could have hoped for, Suzuki Sano. I know it's not much, but here's the fight money. <laughs> it was over in five seconds. Thanks for going along with this. I didn't think you'd bring your own mask. Where'd you get that thing? Well, it's a long story. So, are you really retiring now? Yeah, no more surprise comebacks for me. That was the last bout Odeus Morisawa is ever gonna have. I gave it every last drop of strength I could muster. There's no way I could pull it off again. I'll never forget the cheers of the crowd. Not until I gasp my last breath. That's all I needed. I can die a happy man now. Glad to hear it. I'm sure lucky to run into you. I may not have many years left in me. Dude, you, you are 60 and you look this this way. What do you mean? But I'll be in your debt for the rest of them. I really appreciate it. Thank you. This dude's going to be 120 and look like a 70-year-old man. Well, body's at max. Damn, this chapter seems to have a lot of side quests. I don't mind it, though. Sorry, hang on. Just what? Guys, just please. How's your photography going? Please try to get some photos. I, I got some photos. I guess I need more. What is, is that? What is that? Oh, there's a dude just waiting for me over there. Why? I'm just gonna ignore that. Um. Okay. I'm so bad with directions. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Nope. Fuck off. In. Okay. That's how you avoid fights. Oh my god, 
Oh, is Someone wanting to fight at every corner. <laughs> Leave me alone. I just want to do side quests. Leave me alone. Kiyo-san, did you get my email? I did. So, you're really starting over, Yuya? Yu -Yu? Yep. I'm doing whatever it takes to get the old me back. I thought a way to work at a cabaret club would be pretty tough, but it's not that bad at all. No matter what the job, once you have the experience of working your way up, you never forget the basics. That's why it's easy for you. Makes sense. It's strange, you know, how feeling needed really motivates you. I haven't felt this way for a while. Hey, are you goofing off out here? I could say the same about you. Haha, <laughs> what's up, Momoko? <laughs> oh, nothing. Just came to check up on you, Kazuki-kun. Kaz Kazuki? Yeah, that's the name I go by. Just wrong with it. Suzuki-san. <laughs> Fine. So who's your buddy? Suzuki-san here is an old friend who helped me out a lot back in the day. Oh yeah, well, I guess I should tell you Suzuki-san. I've got my sights set on your old friend Kazuki-kun's heart. He's a real sweetie pie, you know. Whoa, slow down there. <laughs> I see you didn't waste any time blending in. Oh, come on. Even though Kazuki-kun's new here, he seems to know the job like the back of his hand. All the girls love him. He handles the drunks like a pro and gives us great advice on how to treat customers. Our manager really relies on him too. Hey, you shouldn't... Oh, shouldn't I be getting back to work? Yeah, yeah. Hope I didn't interrupt you, Suzuki-san. But if you want to come back with me, you're more than welcome. So sorry about that. Don't worry, but... After seeing that, I have to wonder if you'll ever get back to Kamurocho. Uh, I don't even want to think about that just yet. I just can't seem to make up my mind. But when I finally do, I'll be sure to get in touch with Kazuki-san and the rest of the club. I see. I guess it's really none of my business. Don't be like that. I appreciate your concern. Well, I'll stop by again sometime. Keep your chin up, Yuya. I will. Thank you. Can we go in? Let me go in! Let me in! <laughs> I hear... Okay, okay. I should hit up an adult entertainment info booth, but... <laughs> There's someone yelling, wanting to fight me. I want to go inside. Adult entertainment info booth. Uh, okay. Drugstore. See, I don't know if, like, sushi. Hang on. Oh, that's better. <laughs> that's the place I need to go to. Night Navi. So it's just up the street. Okay. I mean, the nightlife is interesting. What is going on on the street? There's like six guys wanting to fight me. a little bit further. Yeah, this, this looks right. Welcome. What are you in the mood for today, sir? Information first. Any advice for getting friendly for hostess? Tell me about taking hostesses on date, insider tips, okay. Not at the moment. I'll, I'll fly blind. I wanna go to a cabaret club. Could you find me a cabaret club? 
A cabaret club? Excellent choice. In that case, I highly recommend La Cienne, that place you were just at two minutes ago that the game didn't let you go into and forced you to come to this building down the road and now you're going to have to go back. Could you tell me more about it? La Cienne is on Nagasu Boulevard. It's a bit cozier than a famous club like Olivia, but it's also nowhere near as expensive. Just turn around and go back the way you came from two minutes ago and then you should be able to go inside. Great, lead the way. Very well, sir. Please give me a moment while I check in with the club. It, it does, it does it for world building and plot, okay? Hello, this is Kato from Nagasu Knights Navi. I have a gentleman here who wishes to visit your establishment. Is now a good time? All right, thank you very much. All set, sir, if you will please follow me. Have you already been out drinking today? No, I'm just heading out now. I see. Well, I'm sure you'll like this place. Is there a hostess you'd recommend? I'm not sure if she's working today, but there's a girl named Riku-chan who comes highly praised. Riku, huh? Born and raised right here in Hakata. She's very sociable and enjoys nice, friendly conversation. She might not seem like she's got it together, but she's not perfect. I think she'd appreciate it if you were supportive when you talk with her. I love how the people on the street are just disappearing into this dude's chest. I'll keep that in mind. In addition, her blood... Why do you know her blood type? What the fuck do you mean her blood type is B? How, how is this relevant? And she's a 20-year-old cancer. I don't know what sort of things she likes, but you can probably find out by talking to her. You seem to know quite a bit about her. I actually visited her once myself. So you have the most accurate information then? Of course. I can hardly recommend a girl to a customer without first-hand experience and knowing her blood type. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. Maybe I just need to ask girls their blood type when I meet them. <laughs> Alright, here we are. Okay, let's see what this is like. Did the Game Awards happen yet? They were today. Yeah. I, I caught a bit of it, but then I had to go to the Christmas party, so I didn't watch much of it. Hello there. Welcome to La Sienne. Our establishment has an 8,400 yen minimum along with a 3,150 yen cover charge. Choosing a specific hostess incurs another... Yeah, yeah, okay. That was the party. It was alright. I mean... It was a nice day, but then it got humid and it got miserable later. So I kind of bailed a little earlier. Oh, it is her. Oh no, there's a love meter. My name? Using my real name shouldn't be a problem. Uh, okay, Kiryu. This guy's like the... Just making rookie mistakes on how to start a new life. Nice to meet you too. What are we having, chat? Gotcha drink. Enjoy reasonably priced champagne along with a try at a got at the gotcha game. You might even win a prize. <laughs> It's like, what the hell is a gotcha drink? It's okay. Well, I guess we have to, huh? I'll have this. <laughs> that scared the fuck out of me. 
That was so loud and unexpected. <laughs> what was that? Gonna try your luck, huh? Come here, please. That scared the fuck out of me. Oh wow, I wonder what you're gonna get. Here you guys. Toughness. Oh, I we'll get an item. That's. Yo. It's actually a really good heal item. Oh, that one's kind of common. I see. Did you work today? Uh. Yes, I did. On that case, take a load off. What do you do for a living anyway? Um, taxi driver. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> what is... Oh, man. Maybe I've ridden in your cab before, huh? <laughs> Maybe so. Hey, Kiryu-san, would you say you're the kind of guy folks can rely on? Yeah. Kiryu is very dependable. Sure, people tend to rely on me more than I rely on them. I knew it, you kind of give off that impression, you know? Why do you ask anyway? I don't know. I guess I thought you and I were like two peas in a pod. Two peas in the pod? How so? It's just that folks are pretty much constantly coming to me for advice and stuff. Some people call me Counselor Rico. Ain't that cool? You don't give off that vibe. Does it pay well? <laughs> sure. I don't charge for it, silly. That's just something I do for my close friends. What happens when the bar reaches maximum? In that case, you mind if I talk to you about something? Sure, but in your case, I'll have to charge you. Hey, now. Do something? So do nothing. What is, what is, do, what do you mean do something? Oh, there's a menu. <laughs> I, th I thought it was just going to pick something at random. Choose a subject to talk about, ask a question, give a gift, invite to a date. Choose a subject to talk about. Baseball. Lots of pretty girls. The people of Fukuoka. Get into baseball. I like sports. Um, let's go with that one. Sort of. Lately, I've come to realize people in, in Pakata are much more intriguing than the other places I've been. Huh? Ah, what do you mean by intriguing? When I first came to town, I thought the men here were pretty rough and unfriendly, but I've realized that's not the case. <laughs> A lot of guys around here are kind of shy. It can be easy to mistake that for being snobbish. But folks here are really nice. I just spend enough time talking to her, most are friendly enough. So it seems. <laughs> Recently, I've come to understand that more. Come to think of it, you're kind of like us Hakata folk, curious son. Um. Really? Yeah. Shy at first, but actually really nice and kind hearted when folks get to know you. I'd say that describes you, right? Yeah, I suppose. Alright, you being a sort of Hakata person must be why we get along so well. I'm just me. I just agree, man. Very true. I never would have expected I'd get on so well with a Hakata girl. I always thought Hakata girls were meant for Hakata guys, but I guess I gotta rethink that some. Did you say something? Oh, okay. You're not from around here, are you, Kiryu-san? Not originally. I lived here for six months now, though. Is it that obvious? Kinda, yeah, you've got a Tokyo accent. It's really easy to tell if someone's not from around here. 
I don't think you have a thick accent. Yeah, folks come here from all over, so I try to tone it down. Non-locals probably wouldn't be able to understand me otherwise. Let me hear it. Just a little bit. Ah, no, that's a good idea, Kiri-san. I don't think you're gonna understand me. Try me. <laughs> Just let yourself speak like you normally would. <laughs> it jumbles the English up. Just don't spec me to learn ya how to understand it when you up and ask me out of the blue like the sun. Like this, uh, like, like this sun? Huh? Huh? Something the matter? You look like your jaw done hit the floor. What accent is this doing? I'm just talking the way you done asking me to, Kiri-san, is all. Please speak normally. <laughs> <laughs> I like it when a girl has an accent. You're kidding me. You were staring into space just now. I was spellbound, that's all. Really? Yeah. Well, ain't that sweet of you to say. I guess I can let my accent slip out around you every now and then. <laughs> Do something. Do you reckon we can ask her out on a date? I mean, what else would that love heart bar mean? What have they got? I'm kind of hungry. Oh, we are absolutely fucking going for the chicken. No hesitation. D yep, she's happy I got the chicken. You've really got it together, Kiri-san, and you speak so properly, too. I bet you're a real perfectionist at work. Could say that. I don't like leaving things half done. I see things through to the end. Uh -huh, I figured as much. The text is different now, why? Is there a problem with that? I just like to you aren't complete perfectionist. Does that disqualify me? Nah, of course not. From what I can tell, you think you're almost perfect, but you're actually kind of loosey-goosey. I'm going to find the cracks in your defenses, Kiryu-san. You'll slip up eventually, just you wait. I'll be careful. You're coming up on your time limit, sir. Would you like to care for an extension? Don't stay longer. Well, let's try this. Do you like coming out with me after this? Like after this? Previous engagement today, but ask me again next time. Ah, alright. Kiryu-san, tisk tisk. Huh? You got a piece of rice stuck on your cheek? <laughs> really? Where? Let me take it off for you. Go for it. Sit still now, okay? See, nothing, nothing, nothing sus. You're a little bit of a brat sometimes. What? <laughs> sometimes. Yeah. I'm not always like this. Would you rather I not point this sort of thing out? No, do it. 
Fine. I'd rather you point it out. If I see any, I'll be sure to get it off you. Just don't go putting a piece of rice on your face on purpose before you show up. <laughs> That'd be real silly though, having a client who came by rice stuck to his face all the time. Well, I'll be ready next time. It was just a joke. Your glass is empty, do you want some more? Oh, it's free. Soju, free soju. They give soju, but then orange juice costs like... Okay, let's get some OJ. Experience points for the OJ. I guess let's ask a question. Uh, TMI? You can ask about TMI? Hobbies. I forgot what the dude said not to ask her. Let's go basic. No. What sort of things do you mean? Let's go food, Stevie. Potatoes? Okay. Really, I figure it'd be the other way around. Not that good for your skin, it can clear up swelling and constipation. Plus, they're way lower in calories than you might think. Okay. Ooh. I didn't know that. <laughs> Just go out and get a hot potato. Well, at least it's... A pretty straightforward date. It's I can't imagine going to a hot potato place would be that expensive. And, uh, Unless you're going to like a Gordon Ramsay restaurant, it's just like, well... These hot potatoes are important for Britain. Look at them, beautiful, fragrant, aromatic. Look at them absolutely glisten as you cut through them and add the butter. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> there was a customer here who earlier uh, earlier had tonkatsu ramen before coming in. Did it make you hungry? <laughs> no, the exact opposite. It killed my appetite. Oh, you don't like ramen? Because it smells plain awful. What? No. Like, I can deal with someone's breath reeking of liquor, but tonkatsu just smells the worst. Man. Why not? They should mind their manners. I guess it's just, people need to mind their manners. If someone doesn't pay attention to whether they have bad breath or body odor, then they're just a creepy old man. So, yeah, no? I know, right? I wish all my clients were like you, Kiri-san. I guess there are certain things you just have to put up with. Time's almost up. <laughs> no! <laughs> sure. <laughs> uh, what would happen if I just was like, nah? Um, what else have we got? I guess do hobbies. So we have a... I've been wicked busy, so I stay home a lot. Indoor hobbies. So I've been reading an awful lot lately. Ooh. Really? What sort of things do you read? Lately it's been mystery stuff like... Should I read what she's saying or is it just fine to just let her talk? It's it's kind of annoying that there's voice acting for her but then Kiryu's just like, Oh, huh. Ah. Huh. Huh. Um, a bit here and there. Uh. 
Naruto? I can let her talk. All right, good. Well, given how busy I am with work lately, it's mostly been business manuals and the like. I'm kind of the same. It's like, if I'm going to entertain myself with fantasy, it's going to be movies, TV shows, that sort of thing. When it comes to books, I tend to lean more on the side of, like, non-fiction than fiction. You're right. I should pick something up. Not doing great, how? I know the feeling. I enjoy shopping while I'm doing it, and then when I get back home, I calm down and realize what I've done. I mean, you you kind of kind of can. <laughs> Some things you can't you can return. Good idea. So then. So yeah. No need to get stressed out. How about trying some sports? So You don't need to get stressed out, just don't let the day-to-day -day stuff get to you, and you won't run off doing some impulse shopping. Oh, you can move the camera. Not much, but... okay. Hey, should you be saying this to a client? Oh. Damn it. <laughs> well, pack it up. We, we messed up. That's it. <laughs> pack it up. We're done here. Bye. Thank you very much. I'll ask for you next time. I see. <laughs> it would appear that I may have to rank up to be able to ask her out on a date. Um, I mean, this is to check out the content. Oh, I'm drunk. Great. People are going to fight me more likely. Wait. Oh, hang on. Yeah. Oh, Kiri-san, welcome. There's something up? You seem a little flustered. Oh, it's just we've got some Yakuza in the club right now. Yakuza? Why'd you let him in? The manager arcade it. It seems they're pressuring him for a payout. We're not under anybody's protection right now. Actually, the manager's been getting harassed about protection money for a while. He doesn't think there's any way around it. You don't seem to be too happy about that, Yuya. If you pay up once, there's no going back. The Yakuza will prey on you forever. That's why I sent every Yakuza looking for a payday packing when I was at Stardust. Why don't you do the same thing here, then? Well, the manager's already decided to fork over the cash, and I'm just the new guy. I don't feel like it's my place to butt in. I see. Then I guess you've lost the pride you once had. Huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why? Ah, what the hell, Kiri-san? Sure has been a while since I last hit you. Did that refresh your memory? What? When I first met you, you picked a fight with me out in front of Stardust, thinking I was Yakuza. Oh, uh, yeah. 
I remember that. Back then, did you stop to consider your place before you came at me? Because that's not how I remember it. You did whatever it took to protect Stardust, even putting your life on the line. You had fire in you that nothing could extinguish. Even Yakuza were fair game to you if they threatened the club. Just think back to those times and you'll realize how far you've fallen. Here you, son. What's it going to be, Yuya? Are you just going to stand there or do you want to get back what you've lost? The choice is up to you. Damn. You still pack a punch, Kiri-san. Enough to knock some sense back into me, maybe. Yeah. I remember how I used to be. Good. So, how many Yakuza are in the club right now? Six. Seems like they came in numbers today to scare the manager into coughing up cash. That could be problematic. Too many for you to take on? Haha. <laughs> Don't write me off just yet. I may have lost heart, but I still got plenty of heat. These guys are going down. Looks like they already got what they came for. So, I guess that's that then. <laughs> yeah, we got your back now. You need anything at all, just come straight to us. Okay, thank you. Oh, Kazuki-kun, I guess I'm leaving. See them out for me, will you? Before that, I'll be taking back the money you gave these assholes. Huh? What are you saying? Kazuki-kun. Who is this little punk think he is? I won't say it again. This club isn't about to get shaken down by the likes of you. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> big talk for a water boy. This place is under our protection now. Better stop running your mouth and start showing some respect, you little dipshit. You know what, Yuya? I think I'm gonna step in after all. Got nothing better to do. How about you take five and I take out the other one? Fine by me. Just don't complain if I end up beating them all down myself. <laughs> no need to get greedy. Quit your posturing and put up your goddamn fist. Not that that'll do you much good while we're pounding you into the sidewalk. Alright. You know, it's such a nice day. I think I'm gonna take a bike ride. <laughs> That's gotta be one of my favorite finishes. Oh! Ooh, that would hurt. What the hell? Where'd you learn to fight like that? I'll say it one more time. I'm taking back the money we paid. And you can forget about ever forking... Us ever forking out protection money again. God damn it! Huh, some tough guys you are. Your protection ain't worth shit. Let's roll, boys. This club has a stink about it anyways. Kazuki-kun. Sorry, Momoko. My name isn't Kazuki. What? My real name is Yuya. I'm the manager of a host club in Kamurocho called Stardust. Kamurocho? What on earth is going on here? Sorry for taking this into my own hands, sir, but you can't pay protection money to the Yakuza. That's why I... Oh, don't worry. You did good. I knew it was a bad idea, but I was too scared to stand up to them. I should have been the one that held firm and refused. Thanks to you, they won't be bothering the club again. I'm happy to hear you say that. Thank you. Here, Kun, are you going to leave us? Yeah. I have to go back to where I belong. I finally see that now. Well, if you're that dead set on it, I won't try to stop you. We'll miss you, though. I really hate to bail on you like this, but I'll never forget how much you guys helped me. Hope you can forgive me someday. Don't even worry about it. After all, you're the one who helped us. Goodbye, Yuya-kun. 
Take care, and sorry. All right, well, he's come to his senses. I need to apologize to you too, Kiri-san. For crashing in on your new life, I guess I still have a long way to go as a leader. But you all right now? Yeah, I feel like I found the old me again. And it's all thanks to you. I think I was too caught up in playing manager here. I was just hoping everything would run smoothly and stay quiet. But now I can see that's not what's important. I want to protect Stardust with everything I've got, my life included. And that's all the motivation I need. Kazuki-san and I both wanted that all along. <laughs> so you're going back then? Don't laugh, I really did think quitting Stardust was the best move. So I hope you'll keep all this between us? I wouldn't want Kazuki-san or the others finding out. Sure, no problem. Thanks. I never meant to burden you of all people. So, sorry for all the trouble. If you ever find yourself back in Kamurocho, be sure to come visit the club, okay? Thanks again for everything. Okay. Side quest done. So I need to find um, enemies in red tracksuits. Which kind, kind of surprised I didn't run into them. But then again, I have been running away from stuff, so... Now I have to actually look for trouble. Red jumpsuit, eh? I'm so glad I did the rhythm games last time, because I, I don't think I could play them right now. <laughs> I would struggle more than last time. to the car, come on, finish up. God damn it. I may have to see if there's a move list and see how I can use the car. Maybe I have to pick him up and then go. Ah, there it is. <laughs> I mean, it's not the full-fledged thing, but okay, that's how you do it. A specific spot to look. It's just dude in red tracksuits. Stop honking. That's pink, damn it. At this rate, I'm gonna just have most of my abilities leveled up. This is probably a first. Usually, I'm not that far ahead in combat. Nope. Get off the phone. 
trying to call for back up. So much of these items. Okay, keep going. Oh, piss off. Dude. <laughs> this is just as bad when you're playing an RPG game. You take three steps and then you get a battle encounter. I guess Pokemon is like in that category. <laughs> Look, I just want to walk up the street, man. <laughs> okay. That item sells for a lot of money. The thing is, I don't know where to look. I just don't want to run into random people. I just want... to find the dudes in the red tracksuits. Like, where are they? Oh, you know why? It's because uh, um, I've been drinking. That's why things are more aggressive. This is a nice spot here. Okay. Another one for the tourist thing. Those people just appear. That's green. Where's the red? This is being left up to chance instead of being a set encounter that you go to a specific spot to do. So, um, may as well take that and pick up the one that just dropped. There we go. Okay. 
死に乗ってしもた本当にすまんかったばい This is a、uh, yeah. This is gonna be a little time consuming. Wait, red, there we go, red, 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 red. Okay, we're here. Are you Yahata's men? And what if we are? He's asking. I've got business with your boss. Where can I find him? You? Why would some civilian wanna? No, this guy's gotta be Tojo clan. Hey, we got one of those Tojo pricks here. Let's bash his face in. Okay, well. Bike, thank you. <laughs> I'm getting up. There we go. I was just waiting, I was being polite. So I could do this! Just so you know, I'm not Terja clan, just a regular civilian. Now, tell me where I can find your boss. Eh, I don't know. Haven't seen him since yesterday. He went into HQ, but never came out. Damn it. He better still be alive. I guess I'll have to find someone who knows what they're talking about. Crap. Okay. Hopefully, let's just walk up the street and then we'll see more of them. Okay, oh, the alcohol war off, thank you. No, no, it hasn't. <laughs> really gonna make me walk around town. I'm trying not to fight unnecessary fights. Are these red jumpsuits? Nope. I don't know, man. I feel like I've been everywhere. Was the dude waiting for me here in a red jumpsuit? No. Okay. Yeah, I mean... Unless I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> I kind of wish this was just a set spot you go to instead of having to walk around town. It's a little tedious. <laughs> Enem oh, <laughs> enemies actually run away. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, what? He survived? It's like a pool of blood. Oh, wait, no. It's not the guy. It was like a pool of blood. What do you mean he survived? Sure is great. Oh, come on, man. I just... Ugh, can I get past him? Okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I just want to progress the main story. <laughs> just leave me alone. <laughs> Who are those people in red tracksuits? There must be some kind of event going on. Excuse me, did you say you saw people wearing red tracksuits? Yes, that's right. Is there a festival going on? Hardly. They're Yakuza, so you should keep your distance. Can you tell me where you saw them? Yakuza? Oh my. I did wonder why they look so scary. So it wasn't a kid's event then? They were on the east end of, I think it's called New Street? Modern Street? Something like that. I'll figure it out. Thanks. Not a problem. Um... <laughs> Modern Street. Okay. I bet, because I didn't talk to them, they weren't there, but now that I'll go there, they'll be there. Please, yeah! Damn it. So like, I, well, I, okay. You know what? This makes sense because I'm like, this is still the opening chapter, and I have Kira's abilities pretty upgraded. But then I gotta remember that this game is split into multiple characters, so we haven't even got into the second character of this story, like. I think I'm getting close to that point soon. This is correct. Modern Street, here we go. Well, oh, there they are. There's more of them this time. You're with the Yahata family, right? Mind telling me where your boss is? Who the hell are you? You think I'm just gonna spill my guts to some nobody off the street? I'm doing a favor for your patriarch. It's urgent. Madarame? Hold up, what's the deal here? Hey, this guy has ought to be one of those Tojo, Tojo goons. Let's take his ass out. Here we go again. Okay, but this time... There's a bridge here.
Now then, tell me where your heart is. Ah, you're not getting a goddamn thing out of me. This isn't a joke. I'm trying to stop a war with the Tojo clan here. Yeah, well, what's the point of being Yakuza if you can't fight when it really matters? Besides, I ain't got a clue where the boss is at. Fame goes for Patriarch Madarami. The whole damn family's going down the fast. Guess someone else will have to tell me what I know. Okay, want to know. I gotta pay attention. Oh, hold on. I guess those were Yahata family men. Did you see some Yahata family crew around here? Huh? Yeah. They were wearing the usual getup, so I'm pretty sure. Where were they? Down at the south end of Chiki... Chik... Chikuzengawa Street. Jeez. Chikuzengawa. <laughs> I don't know this town. No say... Oh, bah. Just keep heading up the street. Yeah. Hopefully this is the last one. I guess it is in set spots. Oh, there they are. Hey. What the shit? You're the asshole who came storming through our HQ yesterday. That's right. Now, tell me where I can find your hata. We need to talk. Heh, <laughs> I knew you'd say that. I hear you've been snooping around town looking for him. That's right, so. Where is he? My turn for questions first. Why'd ya? gotta see him so bad. I made a promise to Madarame. I told him I wouldn't let Aoyama and the Tojo clan have the run of the place, that I'd protect Nagasugai and the Yamagasa family. You say you talked to the Patriarch? I did. Huh. <laughs> and why should I believe that? You'll understand once I see Yahata. Sorry, but the bosses got real hurt yesterday. Can't just let you waltz into our hideout. Guy like Ya could be working for the Tojo clan for all I know. A hideout, huh? So that's where I'll find you, Hata. Not if I can help it. You ain't leaving here alive. Of course not. It's only the one guy. But he's probably gonna block a lot. Visible wall, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. oh, what? How could he block that? <laughs> the chase sequence, all right. Throw up an attack clip with like. Oh, this is more crazy than before. <laughs> you can throw <laughs> oh my god! This is so dumb. But I love it. The music as well. Oh no. Mistakes were made.
<laughs> the music's great. Yeah, goddamn. Listen. I used to be Yakuza, just like you. So I get what you're trying to pro that you're trying to protect your boss. But I want what's best for this town, same as you. And the only way I can keep this town safe is by talking to Yahata and stopping the Tojo clan. So please, tell me where he is. The hideout's crawling with men, all there to guard the boss. You set foot in there, you're as good as dead. Just tell me where it is and I'll handle it, even if I have to knock sense into every last one of them. That's so, haha. <laughs> Ain't many in Nagasu with those kind of balls. Fine then, it's all on you. You'll find the boss's hideout around the middle of Suzukake Lane. Got it. And hey, good luck. All uh, Nagasugai's Nagasugai is counting on you. <laughs> I think my reading is going down the drain. Okay, we finally got a marker. Wait, so I can stroll, but I can't run quicker? I missed the sprinting. This is the worst save screen ever. <laughs> just, I never, uh, it never ceases to amaze me how many games they do in this series and they don't improve that screen. All right. That'll do it for now before I go too deep into that. That layer is probably like an hour or so in terms of gameplay, but it's late. So I'm going to leave it here, and we'll pick this up probably tomorrow. Um, yeah, if you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for sticking around to the end. Hope you enjoy it, and if you want to support the channel, you know what to do. Just click buttons. Like every other YouTuber tells you to. <laughs> uh, thanks to those that do click the like button, though. It does help out a lot, so appreciate it. Or if you want to watch me play something else in the meantime, just click one of the videos that will probably pop up any second now. Alright, bye YouTube, see you next time.